ESMO 2023 will be remembered as uh, the, one of the most exciting uh, uh, ESMO for lung cancer. We had seven plenaries and multiple uh, communications. And among them, there are two that uh, are think that they are very important. One is the Crystal 7, the combination with Pembro and Adagrasib, and I think also the results of the Flora 2 for the CNS metastasis. In ESMO 2023, I presented the results of the CRYSTAL-7. The CRYSTAL-7 is a phase two trial that is combining adagrasib at the dose of 400 milligrams daily and pembrolizumab to the standard dose. And the reason of this trial is that in 2016, in ESMO, we presented the data of Pembro alone in PDL1 more than 50%. And in Pembro alone, the response rate is 39% to 45%. So also, if these results were practice changing and they are fantastic, there is still the unmet need on how to improve the results in this population. And uh, we found that adagrasib was a very well-tolerated uh, Keras inhibitor and could be combined with pembrolizumab in the first-line setting. There was also a tentative to combine the Keras inhibitors with the pembrolizumab in the past with sotorasib, but uh, this attempt failed because there was the liver toxicity. Combining adagrasib and pembrolizumab together, we had a response rate of 63% and the toxicity is manageable and is much less than compared to the previous Keras inhibitors. So these results are the basis from, uh, for a phase three trials that is starting uh, in these days and hopefully we will see the results in the next uh, ESMO congresses. Flora 2 is a very important trial because uh, the standard of care for patients uh, EGFR mutated in the first line uh, is ozimertinib. Ozimertinib has a progression-free survival of 19 months. And uh, the results that were not actually presented at ESMO but were presented in the WCLC showed that there is an increase of progression-free survival of 10 months when we add the chemotherapy to ozimertinib. But clearly, we add also some toxicity to the patients when we add the chemotherapy to ozimertinib. What was presented here was very interesting because uh, the results uh, in the CNS metastasis showed that uh, the patients uh, with CNS metastasis, they do very well when the treatment uh, ozimertinib is combined with pemetrexed and carboplatin. And the same is also for the incidence of the new brain metastasis. So we knew that Pemetrex could be a very active drug in the brain, but we didn't have before the proof that it was really an active drug. And we know now that when we have patients with CNS metastasis, I think that there is a good opportunity to combine ozimertinib to the chemotherapy because there is a huge reduction of the risk of progression for the brain metastasis and there is a lower risk of increased incidence. So this could be the right population to treat this patient with the chemotherapy.